good morning students today we'll be learning the last part of the chapter law of conservation of energy we have to remember the statement and we have to understand that as well energy can neither be created nor it can be destroyed whenever energy changes from one form to another form the total amount of energy remains constant in certain cases we have seen when we were discussing about the transformation of energy in the last class that energy is wasted while transforming from one form to another form but if we consider that wastage part of energy also then the total ener energy of the entire system remains the same i'm giving you one example electric bulb when we are lighting an electric bulb the input energy is electricity and it is producing light energy and to some extent heat energy as well so that heat energy part is a little wastage here so the entire amount of electricity which we are giving as input is not converted to light energy some part is wasted as heat energy but if we consider the total amount of light and heat energy that will be exactly equal to the total amount of electricity consumed so total energy of the entire system will remain the same let us discuss the law of conservation of energy during a free fall suppose an object of mass m is raised to a height h above the ground so we know that when an object is raised from ground it is walking against gravitational force and the total work done in lifting it will be m into g into h where m is the mass of the object small g is the acceleration due to gravity and h is the height to which it was lifted this work done is stored as potential energy what type of potential energy gravitational potential energy in the raised object now we are allowing the object to fall downwards freely freely means no other force will act on it other than gravitational force when the object falls its height h above the ground slowly and gradually decreases as h is decreasing gradually m and g remains constant so the potential energy of the object will decrease because h value is decreasing but as the object falls due to acceleration due to gravity acting on it its velocity v increases constantly and therefore its kinetic energy half mv square also increases as the object falls more and more its potential energy is gradually converted to equal amount of kinetic energy but the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy of the object remains the same at every point during its fall just before touching the ground its potential energy becomes zero because height from the ground h is equal to zero and its kinetic energy becomes maximum as that point of time the velocity of the object becomes maximum now when the body is falling and it is hitting the ground a sound of hitting is produced and the ground also gets heated slightly so kinetic energy of the object is converted into sound energy and heat energy but the total energy like kinetic energy plus sound energy and heat energy remains the same now let us derive 
and confirm that for a freely falling body the law of conservation holds good we are considering an object at height a as it is shown in the figure at the highest point of its motion the velocity v is equal to 0 so kinetic energy half mb square will also be equal to 0 but potential energy at a will be mgh because the body was lifted at height h so the total energy of the object at point a is equal to k plus p that is equal to 0 plus mgh that is equal to mgh now let us consider a freely falling body at point b which is at a distance of x from the point a by using third equation of motion we get v square is equal to u square plus 2 gh v square is equal to u square is 0 because initial value at the highest point of the motion is 0 plus 2 g into x because it has traveled x distance from a to b so v square is equal to 2 g x so kinetic energy at b will be half m v square we are replacing the value of v square and getting half m is into 2 g x after reducing we are getting m g x potential energy at point b will be m g into h minus x h minus x is the height of point b from ground so the total energy of the object at point b will be k plus p that is mgx plus mgh minus mgx that is equal to mgh now we are considering the same object which is falling freely at point c and the point c is located just above the ground so we are using again the third equation of motion v square is equal to u square plus 2 gh initial velocity u is equal to 0 and it has traveled distance h from a to c so v square is equal to 0 plus 2 gh and kinetic energy at c will be half mv square is equal to half m into 2 gh that is mgh potential energy at b will be is equal to 0 because height h is equal to 0 at c total energy of the object at c will be k plus p that is mgh plus 0 that is equal to mgh so we can see that every point of its motion from a to c the total energy of the freely falling object remains equal to mgh so it is conserved now we'll verify conservation of energy in case of a swinging simple pendulum let us consider a hanging bob of a simple pendulum which is displaced to one extreme position b and then released it swings towards center position a and then to other extreme position b when the pendulum bob is at position b it is raised to the maximum height h and the highest point of its motion its velocity is zero so the potential energy is maximum at b and the kinetic energy half mb square is equal to zero because v is equal to zero when the bob starts moving down from position b to position a its potential energy goes on decreasing because the height is decreasing and the kinetic energy goes on increasing because velocity is increasing when the bob reaches the central position a its height is zero so its potential energy is minimum or equal to zero and the velocity is maximum so the kinetic energy will be maximum when the bob goes from position a to position c its kinetic energy goes on decreasing because it is going against gravity so the velocity is decreasing 
which is in turn decreasing the kinetic energy also. But its potential energy goes on increasing because height is increasing. On reaching the extreme position C, the bob stops for a very small instant of time. So at position C, the bob has only potential energy but no kinetic energy. Thus, we can conclude that at the extreme position B and C, all the energy of the pendulum is potential and at the center position A, all the energy of the pendulum is kinetic. So the total energy of the swinging pendulum at any instant of time remains the constant. Critical thinking question. The following data was obtained for a body of mass 1 kg dropped from a height of 5 meters. Distance above ground and velocity are provided. First one is 5 meter and 0 meter per second. We have to show by calculation that the above data verifies the law of conservation of energy where g is equal to 10 meter per second square. So position 1 potential energy mgh will be m into 10 into 5 as height is equal to 5 meter that is equal to 50 m. Kinetic energy will be half mv square that is half m into 0 square is equal to 0. So total energy at position A will be potential energy plus kinetic energy that is 50 m plus 0 is equal to 50 m. In position 2, potential energy mgh is equal to m into 10 into 3.2 that is 32 meter. Kinetic energy is half mv square that is half m into 6 square that is 18 m. Total energy at position 2 will be p plus k that is 32 plus 18 equal to 50 meter. Now we will see the total energy of the object at position C. Potential energy mgh will be m into 10 into 0 because height h is equal to 0 and kinetic energy half mv square half m into 10 square that is 50 m. Again total energy will be equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy that is 0 plus 50 m equal to 50 m. So the total energy is conserved at all positions of its motion. Learning outcome of this part of the chapter. Students will be able to know the concept of conservation of energy and they will be able to understand the concept. They will be able to verify the law of conservation of energy in case of a freely falling body. They will also be able to verify the law of conservation of energy in case of a swinging pendulum.